Hello and welcome to Talk Vietnam. As you can see in the video, many Vietnamese people to struggle to use the language English comfortably. This is quite a dilemma as Vietnam is at an important phase with many FTAs coming its way. How do we deal with this? Our guest Paul Gruber, Hoa Anh Viet and Vasanth Goblin might just give you the answer you're looking for. You've worked with a lot of ESL students. Can you please share for your own knowledge what are the problems with ESL students? The problem with that I understand from most Vietnamese is that they can have years of English education, but if you try to put them in front of an English speaker, native English speaker like myself, mm -hmm. we're unable to speak and have a, a functional conversation with them. That's the problem. Um, or if they've gotten to the point of speaking English, very often um, an English listener is unable to understand the words that are being said because the language of Vietnamese, the sound system, the vowels, the consonants are so different from the English language. And as you mentioned, they use their, the rules of their mother tongue on English and it makes it unintelligible to an English listener. So that's, those are some of the problems. Uh, in the Vietnamese language, along with uh, Chinese, Korean, Spanish, a lot, of, a lot of other languages, your vowel system, the, the vowels are very pure, like e, 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 a, 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 o, very simple. Now, in English, some of our vowels are like that. Some of our vowels like, like sit, hit, they're very short. But many of the English vowels are two parts, up, down, a, e, i, Oh, and what that does is when you put these vowel sounds in connected speech, it slows down the word. You know, Vietnamese uh, speakers, when they're speaking English, it, that, 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 that's the rhythm. That's what an English, <laughs> that's what an English listener hears. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. But when an English speaker speaks English, it's very musical. It's da 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 da. How are you today? It's very legato. It's very connected. It's very musical. The purpose of learning languages is to communicate with people. Speech-language pathologist Paul Gruber claims pronunciation is a key part clear, of learning English. And this is clear. I also want you to realize that the same R in rate is the same R at the end of clear. Visiting Vietnam for the first time, the renowned speech expert conducted several training events. No. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. I know. You know. You know. You know and I know. You hear that difference? You hear that? Okay, good job. Okay, good job, good job. Ngày xưa thì đồ thank you. Em nào em em chỉ đọc là thank you thôi nhưng bây giờ em là thank you. Là hoàn toàn khác ạ. À cái tiếng nước ngoài là thầy đã chỉ rõ cho em từ dream À, ước mơ ấy ạ. À, thầy có chỉ rõ là người Việt Nam thường đọc là the dream nhưng uh, đọc nếu phải đọc chuẩn là j đọc từ g dream we listen for the sounds that are non english and we reshape those sounds slowly we reshape them over a couple of months and people are amazed because you make these very small changes in their speech and all of a sudden they speak completely different and they're very easy to be, uh, be understood by an English speaker. Em cảm thấy rất tự tin hơn trong giao tiếp và thầy đã truyền lại cho em yêu thích sự yêu thích học tiếng Anh hơn. Each learner has their own way of studying. However, Paul's method of pronouncing clearly and correctly is to get the speakers easily understood. How about showing us your real magic? <laughs> Got something for you here? <laughs> okay. All right. So basically, what we want you to do, you said that, you know, uh, we could all learn English the same way, you know, through using function. Mm -hmm. Can you demonstrate that? 
Sure. Uh, this is what I do. I work with clients uh, all over the world. And um, I, I don't have an evaluation form or anything like that. I just give them something and I go, so show, show me what you have. Yeah, I got a dictionary. Say it again. Dictionary. It's the whole thing. I got. I got a dictionary. And what do you use it for? I use it for learning a vocabulary. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, when was the last time you used it? The last time? Oh, it's uh, about a year ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm listening to all the sounds you're making. You're a very good English speaker. I have to tell you, you're very, very good. I'm listening to your L's, your R's, your, um, your I sounds. Just do this with me. This. This is your what? Say it. What is this? This is my I. Yeah, now this is you. You're saying my ah, my ah, ah. Now to an English, to most English um, speakers, we don't say ah, we say I. You hear the little y, y at the end. I. I. Why. Why. Shy. Shy. My tie. My tie. You hear that I? Yeah. Now, um, uh, you were saying like um, the last time, the last time I used this, it's not last time, before you get to the M, there's a Y. So listen, the last time I used it, go. The last time. There you go. <laughs> yeah, okay, dictionary ends with a Y. Here's another little trick. All words in English, this is a, a good trick. All words in English that end in a Y are a high E. So repeat this for me. Say he, he, and she, and she, and me, and me, we, we. Good. So that's the high e sound. So every word you see in English that has a y at the end is that same thing. So listen, dictionary, dictionary. Right. You you normally come down on that y. You say it's a dictionary, dictionary. Yeah. And it's not clear to an English listener. It's a dictionary. It's a dictionary. And the words like quickly. Quickly. Suddenly. Suddenly. Yeah, suddenly. Suddenly. Suddenly, I have a dictionary. Suddenly, I have a dictionary. Excellent. Excellent. Thank well, you so much. <laughs> Jokes aside, I want to know a bit more about your method. Uh, you mentioned how uh, you use, in, uh, you use uh, music. You incorporate music into your method. Can you tell us more about it? Well, I have a, a music background, I play the piano. I wanted to be a, a, a superstar in the music business. I ended up going into a new direction. But, um, so I have a music background, and then I went back to school for speech language pathology. Um, I worked in hospitals. I've worked with um, people who've had cancer and stroke and difficulty speaking for years before I started pronunciation workshop. I created my own method with no evaluation and no phonetics, and it's more like a look, listen, and learn approach. And I use the, my musical training, the musical sound, and how I learned to play the piano and how I learned music into the, into the speech and into the speech component of language. It's a lot of ear training, and it's showing um, the ESL uh, learner and speaker, it's showing them what they're doing in comparison to what they should be doing when they're speaking English. And when they start hearing those very subtle differences, and their ear picks it up, and they're speaking, and they're having a conversation, and they say to themselves, oops, I said that wrong. I should have said it this other way. And that happens over and over again. What happens is, without them thinking about it, they begin to speak clearer English, more correct English, and their confidence level in English goes way up. Taking example from the movie My Fair Lady, Paul showed how music can surprisingly help learners with their pronunciation. It's, it's like a melody, it's like music. The style of the language, Vietnamese, Korean, Chinese, the, all the, a lot of these Asian languages, the style is very tonal. So it's teaching not only the sounds of the language, but it's also the music of the language. How are you today? It's so good to see you. There's a certain style. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life, Life is but a dream. Tigers, join them. 
Row, row, row your boat. Nhiều lúc mình sợ học tiếng Anh quá đấy. Nhưng mà từ khi mình uh, tiếp xúc với một uh, những cái phương pháp của thầy, đặc biệt là những cái phương pháp mới, ấy, nó, nó làm cho em uh, có thêm nhiều uh, cảm hứng. One, two, three. Using music in teaching English proves its effectiveness. It also makes English more interesting. My method includes a lot of movement. Mm -hmm. It's not just the mouth. Mm -hmm. it's, it's body movements. It's moving hands, moving mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. you know, body and body it, body it's yeah. all, it's pulling uh, NLP yeah, yeah. into this. Mm -hmm. And uh, because mm -hmm. it's, it, we're all, it's all one. Mm -hmm. It's not just, we're not just a mouth here speaking English. It's mm -hmm. a whole body. Mm -hmm. And when you want to learn new mo movements and patterns of your mouth and lips, tongue, mm -hmm. jaw, mm -hmm. vocal cords, everything, mm -hmm. you want to get your whole body into That's it right. because you learn it faster and the That's movements right. and mm -hmm. the, it's all coordination. It's like swinging a golf club. That's what mm -hmm. learning correct pronunciation and good English is. Mm -hmm. It's all the coordination of our articulators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's using our body yeah. and learning these, right. these patterns. It's visible and physical. That's absolutely right. Yes, very important terms. Mm -hmm. I'm aware that with your business, you've actually incorporated lots of modern technology into it. Can you please explain how this works? Sure. When I, when I started Pronunciation Workshop, uh, first of all, I never thought I'd be sitting here in Vietnam. <laughs> that's the first thing. So that, that's a dream come true. But, um, you know, I created these videos, but I didn't realize the way the, way the technology was going to develop. Um, I use Skype very often and also WebEx, and there's other, other uh, means to do this. But in this day and age, with high-speed broadband internet, um, at Pronunciation Workshop, we work with people all over the world. I, mean, I have clients in Moscow, Dubai, South America, Brazil, um, Italy. We just signed up with the uh, Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers um, movies and television. We ha we're working with people in Paris, and it's over Skype, and it's as if I'm sitting right talking to you, looking you right in the face. They're looking right at me. And what's great about our training is, as we're working with the individual, we're also typing words in the chat window. So the person is working with us, and they're seeing these words coming up, and we're showing them the sounds that they're missing, what they need to emphasize and stress. So it's very interactive. And then following the session, they print out that transcript. So it's very personalized, and, um, and they practice with it, and they improve very quickly. So this is your very first time here in Vietnam, mm -hmm. working with Vietnamese students, and you had some interesting experience over there. Uh, can you please, you know, show us your feelings, how you feel, and um, what reception have you received from your students here? Unbelievable. From the moment I got off the plane and landed in, in at the airport at Hanoi, uh, to the events, we had some held some very large events uh, with 3,000 people in attendance. That was the first event. Um, I'm happy to accommodate, and, but um, it, very, very exciting. It's, it's a thrill for me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, everyone knows me because of my training, and um, it's just been an, an absolutely amazing time mm -hmm. that I've had here in Vietnam, mm -hmm. and I hope to make many trips in the future and come back and, and build my training because I know it could be very powerful because your, your students and teachers would be able to not only speak English well but clearly and that they'll be able to communicate with the world in English. It's going to be the universal voice mm -hmm. of the future English and, and this way everyone will be uh, mm -hmm. on the same page understanding each other. Hey chaps, your insights have been enormously helpful. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, through this program, we hope that you have sort of learned your own methods, your own ways to achieve success in learning the language English. Thank you for watching this edition of Talk Vietnam. I'm Michael Liu, and until next time.